What is going on? This is the hectic part of this day. Just made it to court. Mommy, something's under there. Underwear. <laughs> Just doing at the store. Mom, let me get toaster strudels and those are my favorite things ever. I haven't had those for like three years. I got two boxes of toaster strudels and I'm so happy I'm gonna make them. Now I'm just gonna wait. I've missed it so much. I gotta go to school now, so I'll see you guys later today. Allie has a dentist appointment this morning to fix her filling that keeps breaking, and so we have to leave before the kids have to go to school. So I have to have everybody ready and get out the door and get Canyon up, and he's not feeling good, and so he doesn't wanna wake up. I hate to have to wake him up. But Johnny won't be home today either, so we gotta take Canyon with us. Nico! Come on, you don't even have to get dressed. Let's just go. Oh, poor Nosy. Your breakfast awaits, and your mom said you have two minutes to eat, so I would say it's even less than that now. How are you feeling this morning, dude? Sick. You still feel sick? Like how? Um, I'm coughing, I cough. Twice. Your nose sounds yucky too. As got up this morning, feeling feeling great. He um, he doesn't sound very good though. He's coughing, and he has the uh, really runny nose. And so Sarah and I had a conversation about whether he should go to school or not today. And absolutely, he can go to school. He feels fine and and that. But uh, the big problem is is getting other kids sick at school. There's nothing worse than than somebody sending their kid to school that's sick to go get everybody else sick at school. And we know that kids wipe their nose, they cough, they don't cover their mouths, they're touching things. And anyway, it's it's just not a good idea. So Az is not going to school again today. And um, so we, I mean, we know what he learns at school. Um, he, there's some stuff that he does online that we can work with and we'll, we'll work with him today. But he's gonna hang out with Sarah for the most part of the day because I have court today. All right, love you, love you. have fun. This is the last time we're gonna have the, a tooth issue, right? Hopefully. Let me just look at it really fast. Oh, I see it. Mm -hmm. All right, have fun. I feel terrible, I feel bad, because it would be so much easier if Sarah didn't have to take Az with her and Canyon with her to run Allie to the dentist, but I cannot, uh, I can't stay here with them because I have court this morning. It sounds like it's gonna be an all day thing for me. Anyway, that's why I'm wearing my, my nice shirt. I'm gonna put a tie on, look presentable. I'm sorry that you're gonna have to go in by yourself. Since the boys are sick, I can't take them in. Oh, it's okay. I'll see you on the flip side. I didn't wanna take these two little guys who are sick into the dentist waiting room and just let them sit there and cough and get boogers all over everything. And so we're just gonna sit in the car and watch a movie until Allie's done in the dentist. I'm here. Just made it to court. Check it out, go in, and hopefully this thing will get over quicker than what the guy said. He said it may be over by five o'clock p.m. Oh, it's not even nine o'clock a.m. yet. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, oh, it's warm in here. Did they fix it that fast? Yeah, they made it so it's two now, so I can floss. Oh, good. Yeah, that looks way better. Because before it was just like, mm-hmm, glossed a lot better too. Good, hopefully this time it will stay in there. Hopefully. All right, have a great day. Love you. Love you. <laughs> what is going on? Why don't you want to go in the house? Canyon, we gotta go in the house. Don't. Poor little guy, he doesn't want to come in the house. Doesn't want to go outside, doesn't want to be held, doesn't want to take a nap, doesn't want to eat. He's just so hungry. He gets to the point where he's so hungry 
and his blood sugar goes down and he's just irrational. So I gotta try to get this kid to eat something. Could you take this poopy diaper to the garbage for me? Please, please, thank you. Thank you, buddy. It's time. I really need to fill these cupboards with the stuff in those boxes. Gotta do it. I just can't keep putting it off. If I keep putting it off, then we won't ever put up our Christmas stuff. It's already into December, and we need our Christmas decorations up. I need to run to the store before the kids get home from school when our crazy day starts with piano lessons and violin lessons and choir concerts and craziness. I was able to get a little bit done, a couple boxes emptied. It still is a crazy mess. So I'm gonna run to the store so I can get back and hopefully have more time to work on this today. Uh, it is now 12.40 and they just barely got finished choosing the jurors and uh, so we haven't even started the, the, the trial yet. Um, it's very interesting, I've never been through that process and uh, I don't know if you've ever been through it either but it's, it's very interesting in that it, it seems like it takes more time to, to choose the jurors um, then it does the whole trial process. I guess we'll see because we haven't been through that yet. But um, yeah, what a what a rigorous process, and and, a, and they take it very very serious, which um, gives gives me a lot of comfort because um, a lot of people say the system is screwed, but literally it's the people that are the are the ones that make the decision. So yeah, it's all up to us, right? Kind of cool. So I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat and then get back over there, and and uh, the trial starts then. Can I get in the cart? Yeah, you and Canyon can sit in the front. are helping mommy right there get groceries. Oh, Costco. Something's under there. Huh. Say underwear. Underwear. <laughs> Mommy, something's under there. Underwear. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Mommy, say something's under there. Hey, as something's under there. Underwear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were shopping so long, the boys oh, fell yeah. asleep. Night, night, boys. It's like a. Oh, you're not really asleep. Before we went out of town. We ate so as much of everything that we had, so and then yesterday I cleaned out the fridge and threw away all the stuff that was bad, and so we like had no groceries. So we went to Costco, and you saw all the stuff we just got, and now I'm gonna pick up the little girls, take them to piano, go to the grocery store, pick up my other groceries, get Danielle, take her to piano, pick up the little girls, pick up Danielle, Oh, this is the hectic part of this day. Hurry, Savannah and Lizzie. Jump out, you're late. Have fun. Jump out, Lou. Bye, I love you. Do not unbuckle. I'm just picking Danielle up, then we need to leave and go to the grocery store and then take Danielle to piano, okay? Danielle, grab your piano books. Hurry, we gotta go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I love you. Love you. You are worth it. supposed to pick up my groceries between two and three and I only have nine minutes to get there. This ended up being a crazy hectic afternoon. So I just called the number on the sign and they said they will be right out with my order. Totally awesome. I don't even have to get out of the car. I don't have to give the boys out of the car and all of my groceries are gonna be put in the car for me. Best thing ever. This is one of the best parts too. I don't have to wake him up. And I made it with two minutes to spare. That was the easiest shopping trip I have ever had. Look at this. Groceries are loaded, boys are asleep. Now time to go pick up the kids from piano. How was piano? Good. Did you get a Christmas song? Yeah, I got Oh Come On The Table. Nice, I'm so excited to hear it. Uh, I just got half of Jingle Bells next week, I'll learn the rest of it. That's so awesome. Did you guys know I love Christmas songs on the piano? 
Yeah. Well, I just got home. The trial is almost over. They actually uh, give me the option to leave um, or stick around and wait for the verdict. The jury went back and they did their, they're doing their deliberation, basically determining whether um, the, the, uh, the defendant is guilty or uh, innocent. And so I was uh, on the witness stand. I watched them uh, go through the whole selecting the jury. I have never been through this process. Nine o'clock in the morning until 6.30 at night. So, and everything in between was just, it was, it was crazy. I gotta give it to uh, the whole system. Like it works the way it's supposed to. The only problem that I have with it is this. And any of you that have been through this, you'll, you'll know and understand is when there's not enough evidence, when it's a he said, she said type situation where um, they call witnesses up there and all the witnesses have is what's going on in terms of their mind and their story. It could go one way or the other. And so the person that is, the, whether they did the crime or not, they could get away with it if the story is good enough on their side of things to prove otherwise. So somebody could completely go in there and completely lie. And I know it happens every single day. I guess the, the, the moral of the story is, if you've done something wrong, just come clean. Just be guilty. Even if you have to spend some time for it or if you have to get a ticket for it or you're speeding to whatever it is like mom and dad say that you did something wrong and they, you ate the cookies and the cookie just yeah I did it I'm sorry because once you do that you take responsibility for what you did and it's called accountability once you are mentally accountable for something you're typically not going to do it again or at least you'll think about it next time but if you, you you claim and you lie about what you did not only are you not being accountable but you're also lying and you have to have that on your conscience. So, moral of the story, just tell the truth. What's going on in this place? Hey, what's your name? <laughs> oh, what's going on in here? Crazy. Today at school, there was a bully. We were playing this multiplication game where our teacher would write down a problem twice. So one's right like about here and one right here on the whiteboard. We'd, they had two teams. First team and the second team would both choose one person to go up, solve the po problem. Whoever solves it first gets a point. This kid, he didn't want us to win, my side to win. He's like, I think we deserve an extra point because we had such a good mascot and we're amazing. They were cheating. They were cheating. They kept telling the people the answers which they weren't supposed to. When we were doing the tiebreaker, um, he was like making fun of this kid. He's like, you got, you are so whiny. You just want the extra point so you can win. You don't like it. You don't care about losing. You you don't care about anybody else. I'm like, why do you have to be such a bully? This girl's like, okay, stop. You're being so rude right now. And then he's like, oh, sassy. He had to stay out after school. Danielle has a choir concert tonight and I just dropped her off and realized that I didn't even vlog her at all, like getting ready or rushing me out the door or getting me in the car or getting out of the car or going into the school or anything. I totally am a slacker and I didn't get any footage of Danielle. Johnny got home two minutes before we needed to go to the concert and so we are headed in now. Luckily my mom and his mom have a seat for us, hear all of the Christmas music that Danielle won't sing in front of us, so we have to go to a choir concert to actually hear her sing. Today I came home from violin lessons, and that was at like three, and I came home with a pounding headache. It, it's terrible, and my throat hurts, and my nose is stuffed, my lips are chapped, and for some reason my back hurts. Problem is I have a showcase on Saturday, and I'm singing in it and acting in it, and I can't be sick. I cannot miss any more school. So I have to get better. And I'm shaking too because I am freezing cold for some reason. And I'm just sick and sore. And I'm just done. We are trying to be controlled and be nice and good.
All right, dude, are you ready for eye drops? Um, I already did it. Did you tell mommy? No. Mommy, I did the eye drops. Without? No. Do it crying. He didn't cry at all. You didn't cry? Oh, that makes me so happy. But guess what? Me drops. Yeah, you get eye drops. No. Yeah, you have to. No. Az, you did such a good job, huh? Better. Thank you for watching. You will watch it. Bye. Bye. You wearing pajama pants? <laughs> yeah. I saw the <laughs> I just found a puzzle piece. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Are you kidding me? <laughs>